Hello. Continuing with my ongoing narration of my television show, The New All in the Family, NGMG Films presents The New All in the Family, Episode 11, Scene 1. Black Lives Start to Matter, More COVID Issues, and Josh's Female Visitor. Verna tells Kamala the ugly racial truth about being a young black male, insisting Kamala is not ready for such a big life-changing decision to change her sex, also invoking Samantha's opposition to it to support her own objection. And now for the narration. Fade in. Previously on the new wall in the family. Internal, Samantha's room, night. Samantha and Kamala are on Samantha's bed, lying together. Kamala, I'm actually thinking of becoming a boy. Cut to internal, Samantha's room, night. Samantha is on her bed, texting. Image, text being typed, Samantha. I hope both this virus lasts so you won't make that change and that it ends quickly so I can be with you as much as possible before you become somebody I won't recognize. Image, text, Kamala. Oh, you'll recognize me. Don't be that dramatic, Sam. Look, if you really love me, you'll fully and totally support me. That's what love really means. Come on. Image, text being typed, Samantha. What about supporting me? Doesn't what I want count? Image, text, Kamala. Not if it's about my body and my identity and how I want to be seen by others. Pause. Image, text, Kamala. Hey, it's your move. Aren't you going to play the game? It's your move. It's been like your move forever. Image text being typed, Samantha. I'm not in the mood anymore. She puts her phone down, looking sad and dejected, like she's about to cry. <clears throat> Cut two. Internal, Kamala and Verna's house. Kitchen, day. Kamala and Verna are sitting at the table. Kamala. We had another fight. Verna. Again? My God, you fight almost as much as you get happy with each other. Every time I turn around, it's something else with you two. Kamala. Hey, look, I can't control that. Verna. Yes, you can. What's it about this time? Kamala. She doesn't want me to have the sex change. Verna, in shock. Excuse me? The sex what? Sex who? Kamala. I never told you I'm going to be a boy? Verna. Oh, no, you're not. You're not going to be a black boy in today's America. Verna. No, you never told me. That would have been a major shock I would have remembered. Kamala, oh my God, I could have sworn I did. Verna, what else haven't you told me? And I don't want to know what you two do behind closed doors. As long as you're not getting pregnant, it's not my business. And besides, next to this shocker, that stuff is old school. Kamala, I'm sorry, Ma. I guess until Samantha, it was something I wasn't really sure about. Verna breathes out, not sure what to say. Verna, tell me the truth, Kamala. What's really at the bottom of this? Kamala. What do you mean? Verna. You've never shown comfort around the male sex, and now all of a sudden you spring this on me? Come on, tell me the truth. Kamala. That is the truth. Verna. I don't think you really know what you want. Kamala, taken aback. What? Verna. You're still growing up. You're not ready for life decisions like this. It's the same thing as marriage. There's a lot you still have to learn. Like, for one thing, you're a walking target for police and other armed white men like Samantha's father. I don't want to have to lose sleep every night wondering if you're ever going to make it home. Kamala. Oh, so if I was born a boy, then it would be okay to be a walking target and for you to lose sleep at night? Or would you then want me to have a sex change? Verna. Don't be ridiculous, Kamala, because you know that would be totally different. Kamala. How so? I'm getting the feeling deep down you're a lot more prejudiced than you give off. Verna angry. What'd you say? You have no idea what every black male has to go through. Or every black mother. Kamala. But it's like you got a double standard for men and women. Verna. No, because that's the way it is. I've protected you from a lot. You have no idea until you're up against a real police officer, and then you'll see how right I am. In fact, you might find out very quickly if you don't watch yourself, because you give off like a boy in so many ways. They might mistake you like they mistake so many other things on black people for something they're not. And I'd have taught you all the things every young black man needs to know to survive that every young black woman doesn't. At this point, it's too late. That takes years of training. 
And even if you do follow all the precautions, look what happens there still. Too many names to even mention. Kamala is suddenly silent and in deep thought. Kamala. Wow. I never thought of all that. Verna. And think of your girlfriend. I don't blame her for feeling cheated if you go through with this sex change. You're taking away the girl she fell in love with. Kamala. What? You're taking her side? Verna. If it's the right side, yeah. Kamala. Wow. This is hitting me real hard. Verna. Well, it's going to hit you a lot harder if you lose both your girlfriend and your life. I protested for women's rights. You should be proud to be a woman. Kamala. What about a transgender having the same rights as a cisgender? Verna. A cis what? Kamala. Cisgender. Verna. I know what you said. What the hell is a cisgender? Kamala. That's someone like you who identifies as the gender you were born with. Verna. Right. And I'm proud of the gender I was born with. Just like I'm proud of the race I was born with, too. I hope you're not thinking of changing that. We already got too many white men in this world. Kamala. Ma, it's not like that. But you talk of being proud. Well, that's how I feel about being trans and able to be who I want to be, to have the body I really feel comfortable in. Isn't that worth standing up for? Verna. Not at the point of a gun, it's not. Sometimes I think you just want to prove a point to prove a point. But life is not about that. I mean, first you're gay, and now you want to go be transgender on top of that? It's too many things for one person. Kamala. But didn't you tell me what I want for myself is more important than what other people want for me? Verna. What I said was being true to yourself is more important than trying to please others. But, Kamala, what's the difference? Verna, the difference is you're in a relationship and you also live in a dangerous world that's getting worse by the moment. You're a very idealistic person who believes everybody's got to see the world the way you do. But it doesn't work that way. Other people don't care about your perfect standards on transgender or on race. So if you want to go ahead and live so uncompromisingly, be prepared to be alone. And be careful. Just be careful, Kamala. The world is not a friendly place right now. At least for us. Kamala is downcast, but more pensive.